Hello Aquarius and welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. This is going to be a general love message for the sign of Aquarius. Please keep in mind these messages are for Aquarius individuals who are experiencing a difficult time in their love life situation. If you are not experiencing some sort of conflict or issue in your relationship, this reading is not for you, okay? If you're interested in a personal reading, all that info is in the description box below along with all of the price listings. I want to ask you guys to please take a look at the About Me section where you'll learn about all of my other talents. The more that this channel grows, the more of those other talents I will be showing you. Eventually, I'll be showing you my face and the scenery will change here. Okay, not all messages will identify with each and every Aquarius. This is going to be a love message for you. Let's get right into it. I'll be looking at the past, the future, and the present energy. Okay, I'm going to be pulling three cards for the past situation, three cards for the present and three for the future. Spirit, please provide me with messages for the sign of Aquarius for the past energy, for the present energy, and the future. Spirit, please provide me with messages for the sign of Aquarius. All right. Give me three cards for the past. Three cards for the present and three cards for the future. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay. And this person is going through a difficult time right now and I feel like they need your advice and they're seeking comfort in conversations with you all right I feel like this person is not going to right away tell you what's going on, but you'll notice that there is something wrong with this individual. So you'll know how to get it out of them. Naturally, Aquarians are great counselors and great therapists, right? Um, many of you are in fields of human service, okay? Because you guys are good listeners and you also are great assistants when it comes to resolving issues or helping others think through what it is that they are going through, okay? So uh, I definitely feel that your person is going through something right now and they may need your guidance at this time, Aquarius, all right? Um, again, this is fire energy. You don't necessarily have to be dealing with a fire sign, However, this is someone who has a lot of vigor, a lot of passion, and articulates themselves very well. But at this time, they are withheld and they will come to you, but they will come to you in a way where you'll know something's up and you will get it out of them, okay? So uh, if you're watching in reference to your lover, I definitely feel that your lover will be communicating with you soon. If this is in reference to a friend or a family member, there is someone who really needs your direction at this time. Okay, Aquarius. So in the past position, all right, we have more fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Okay, we have the nine of wands here. All right, and then we also have the Ace of Swords in reverse, okay? So this is Aquarius energy, and there's something that obviously you aren't content with and you're not happy about, all right? And there's not much communication from you right now about this, okay? 
um, you're not communicating directly with the individual about this issue that you are uncomfortable with, but you may be speaking to your peers about it. You may be talking to your family members about it, but there's someone in the past position who really disturbed you emotionally, might have been something that they said or a way that they acted that you don't agree with, okay? And when an Aquarian doesn't agree with something, the whole world is going to feel it and everybody in the room, okay? <laughs> so, um, you know, someone has really just shaken you in a way that you aren't intrigued by at this time, okay? Um, well, in the past position here, all right? And that left you kind of in this Nine of Swords position where even though they said something that you didn't like or did something that you didn't like, it weighed on your mind very heavily, okay, in the past position here. And there, because of all of that mental conflict, it was just better just to step away from it for the moment in the past position here, okay? In the present, you have the Two of Cups here, okay? So I definitely see that you have a desire to reconcile with this person, okay? Whether um, this is a love situation or a family situation, you have a lot of admiration for this person. You love them. They inspire you. They love you too, even if they're not speaking to you. Okay, I definitely feel that you want to have justice with this person, okay, in the present moment. Um, I see here that we have the justice card in reverse. Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio. Doesn't necessarily have to be the energy of the person that you're dealing with, but there is a situation that you want to make peace out of, okay, in the present moment, even if you're not communicating it, that's how you feel at this time, all right, and I feel that the more that you think about it, the more that you think of this coming back together that you desire of, the more you will manifest that and it will actually take place, so if you are wanting to reconnect with someone that you're not speaking to right now, continue to think about it, continue to visualize it, and that's how you will create that person coming back into your life through manifestation, okay? In the future position, we have the decision that needs to be made here with the Two of Swords. So you're at a crossroads trying to verify if there should be communication, if there shouldn't be communication, okay? You hold on to this person very dearly, all right? Could be an earth sign that you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, could be any other sign though, but this person is someone who is sacred to you and very dear to your heart. In the future position, I do see victory, okay? We have victory here with the four of wands. So eventually the situation that seemed tumultuous, I'm sorry, tumultuous for you, um, eventually, um, allows you to have that happy place with this person again, all right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clarify to see why some of this stuff is happening, okay? So first, um, in the past position, we had the Ace of Wands, we had the Nine of Swords, and we had the Ace of Swords in reverse. So I want to clarify your energy here with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Let's see what we have. Spirit, please provide me with messages in reference to the Ace of Swords in reverse. Why do we have the Ace of Swords, their energy in reverse here? Why do we have the Ace of Swords in reverse here? 
-hmm. Okay. So more air energy, Aquarius energy here with the King of Swords. So yeah, there was something that you didn't like. And I feel like you told this person what you didn't like. All right. And it might have caused a withdrawal between you and your person here. All right, and then because of what was said, there was the separation, okay? There was no coming together here, all right? So that's the energy of the past position. In the present here, we have the Two of Cups, the Magician, and the Justice card in reverse. So I want to know why the Justice card is here in reverse, all right? Spirit, please provide me with messages about the Justice card here in reverse for Aquarius. Why do we have the Justice card here in reverse? Please speak to me in reference to this Justice card in reverse. Yeah. So... Could be dealing with a water sign here, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So, you know, <laughs> it was a, a, something big that, uh, or impacted someone in a big way. You may not be aware of how severe this person was impacted by your words, or they could have impacted you in this way, okay? Um, but that's why there was this injustice, right? But this tower brings in a transformation. So because this happens, now the good stuff is going to come, all right? Because you're getting past this moment that needed to occur for better things to happen, now there's going to be growth and now there will be a coming together. You have a desire to speak to this person again. They know that and so do you, all right? Yes, this is what happened, right? But now there's a coming together. Now there's a feeling that you have to want to have justice with the person. And you will, I feel, okay? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. You feel an imbalance if this person is not in your life or if you're not communicating with this person in a way that is fruitful for both of you. You want to come out of the dispute, the dilemma, and the drama. You just want to drop it. Okay, that's really what I'm feeling for you in the present situation as you manifest this person back into your life. In the future position, we have the four of pentacles, okay? You have a decision, a choice that needs to be made. Are you going to communicate? Are you not going to communicate? Because when you decide to do that, then you're going to get the happy place with the four of wands, more fire energy. All right, so I want to clarify what the decision is going to be about here for you, Aquarius. Let's see what the Two of Swords is. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the Two of Swords here for Aquarius energy. Please speak to me in reference to the Two of Swords. What is this decision about? Okay, definitely seeing fire energy here. Okay, a lot of you are dealing with a fire sign. Okay, or someone with heavy passion in their chart. All right, there's a fire sign that really needs your guidance right now, your help. This person is coming back to you. I don't know who this person is. If it's not a lover, there's a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius who really needs you at this time, okay? All right, they're going to be expressing to you, they want to talk, basically. All right, they want to talk and you want to talk to them and um, the conversation needs to be had. All right, the hermit in reverse is coming out of being quiet and bringing the truth to the light is what the hermit does. Virgo energy here. Okay, there we have the queen, all right, of wands. This is the fire energy. This is this person who uh, needs to talk to you and I feel like you know it and this person needs your guidance and advice Aquarius so I don't know who this is for there's an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius that really needs your guidance at this time because they're going through something very difficult all right um, and I see more fire energy here okay 
uh, you guys eventually will get to this Four of Wands. Let me see what this Four of Wands is all about, the Happy Place card. All right. Spirit, please provide me with messages for the Four of Wands for Aquarius before we close out here. What is this Four of Wands about for Aquarius before we close out? What is this Four of Wands about, please? Okay. Yes. Yes. So more air energy. All right. This person needs you to talk to them. All right. I'm getting the, the energy of, um, you know, I know that when Aquarians say something, you guys like to stick to your guns. And if you're not into it for right now, uh, it's kind of like, I know how you guys are where you want someone to admit that they were wrong and you're not going to kiss anybody's ass. I understand how Aquarians are, but I just want you to be aware of the fact that there's someone who really needs you right now, all right? You know who this person is, all right? It could be your romantic partner. I'm getting um, other energies as well. It could be just someone who surrounds you. Um, they are feeling some type of way about feeling left out here, okay? And um, let's not deceive ourselves, okay? If we feel like we need to reach out to someone, talk to someone, um, just trust your intuition is what I feel that I am supposed to tell you. Uh, if you know or feel that you need to talk to someone, just um, reach out, all right? Or this could be your person. When you are romantically involved with someone, even in separation, the connection remains and the energy is the same, okay? So this could be your person's energy too. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. Thank you for watching my channel. Take care. Have a good day.